so in my Unity project, I'll go ahead and make sure I have a folder created to hold these art assets inside of the assets root. So I'll create a new folder here. And for that supermarket, I was using a color scheme called Apollo. So I'll just call the folder Apollo. So now I'll right click inside of the folder, do show and explore. And I want to bring my assets into here. So what I'll do is I'll export each of these layers independently, and then I'll merge everything together back in Unity as one larger asset. So I'll rename the layer to something that makes a little bit more sense here. Let's call it roof door. So with this roof door layer, I want to go up to file export sprite sheet, and then you'll see everything in the document here, which is obviously way too much stuff. So what I want to do is go to the sprite tab, change layers to selected layer, or you can select the one that you want to edit here. So I could just select roof door directly here and then go to borders and do trim sprite. So this is going to be more what you want for each of your animations, just a sprite sheet with nothing else in there except the animated object. But you'll notice there's a lot of duplicates in this animation. So we can go to layout merge duplicates. And you can see there's actually only four frames here that matter. So we'll go here, outport file, check this, click here to give it a new name. And I'll overwrite this rooftop exit door.png here. So I'll hit OK. And yes. So let's export it now. And over here, you can see that part of the asset. So let's do it again for the door frame. I'm going to rename this layer to be roof door frame so that it's clear. Let's go to file, export sprite sheet. And now we just need to change the layer here. So where it says layers rooftop door, I'm going to select the next one down, the frame. And you'll see that it's actually not fitting everything. So we need to go over to borders and do trim again. After selecting that, go back over to borders and trim it. So here it's fine to have these extra pixels. We just want it trimmed to the edges of our shape. So now let's go to outport and I'll save this as rooftop exit door frame. Hit OK, export. And we can see that these are both in here. So just keep repeating the process for all the necessary layers. So let's get the fan. I'll select fan from the list. It's already been trimmed to merge the duplicates. And we can see that the shape is being trimmed here as well. So give it the name here, rooffan.png. Next, the supermarket door. So I'll select that from the list. Obviously, it needs to be trimmed here. So let's go to borders and try trim sprite. And as we can see here, uh, there's a couple extra pixels that shouldn't be there, and I need to clean up the door a little bit. So let's go back. Uh, I'll just hide everything else so it's easy to see. Going to show the supermarket door. Let's fill in those pixels and just do that for each of the frames as necessary. Okay, And then just need to remove those extra pixels. So just going frame by frame to check that. This can happen when you're working with too many layers and uh, you just accidentally draw on the wrong one. But that looks clean now. So let's go to File, Export Sprite Sheet, select the supermarket door. We could see it's been cleaned up and that there's no random pixels on the side of the screen. OK, so let's go ahead and give it an output file, marketfrontdoor.png, and let's go ahead and export it. Lastly, the Mart itself with nothing else. So this will be a one frame image. It would also be possible to break this into different tiles and then rebuild that in the game. But for right now, I'll just use this as a one-off asset. So I'll export the entire image, export sprite sheet, the supermarket, and then export that. Now, since all of these new assets kind of go together, I might create a folder and bundle them all together. So let's call it supermarket and either paste it in there or cut it in there. And now I'll just copy this over to the Unity assets, put it in there. And now we have our supermarket. Now, since this is Pixar, we'll just need to change the settings on these uh, to turn off the filter mode and turn off the compression. So I'll just select all five of these at once, holding shift down, turn off filter mode, compression set to none, hit apply. Now, for some of these, the ones that have animations, we'll need to change it from sprite mode single to sprite mode multiple. Let's go into the sprite editor and just slice it by the number of frames. So here we can see there's four frames. So I will go slice. Uh, cell count, four columns, slice. Okay, we have four images here, hit apply. And then that's split into its animation. Let's do the same thing for the rooftop door. Sprite mode, multiple, apply, slice, grid by cell count, four again, hit apply. And we'll also want to do that for the front door of the supermarket. So uh, make sure it's in sprite mode, multiple, apply, slice. And this looks like seven frames. So seven columns, hit apply and verify it's correct. 